Hey there, I really like your uh, vest you got on there. Oh, what, this old thing? Well, it's pretty chilly out, so I needed to put something on. No, no, I really like it. It goes really good with your new hairstyle. I really like the braid. I was never a real big fan of the cinnamon bun look. Oh, well, I figured this was a lot more practical, and not having the cinnamon bun hair means that I can hear a whole lot better, and I can hear stupid jerk comments like that. Oh, um, well, you know what I meant to say. Well, anyway, you ever uh, wonder what would happen uh, if we were to get married and have children, and what our children might look like? Would they look more like me or more like you? You know what? That's one of the weirdest things I've ever heard from a guy that I've only known for, well, I guess a little while now, but maybe I should go back to the cinnamon bun look, and I wouldn't have had to hear that. Just saying. Hey everybody, Papa Gordon here, and uh, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna look into the future and look at a figure based on a character that doesn't exist in Star Wars anymore. And that is um, probably one of the best figures in all of the Black Series, Jaina Solo. And I am going to blow this figure ridiculously hard. Um, I, you know, I'm, I am hoping that most of you have this, and if you don't, regardless if you collect the original, tri like, original trilogy, the prequels, or if you collect the sequels, um, this, she is a must, an absolute must. Um, if they could keep going with this s level of deep, uh, just the detail, um, I would easily, um, oh, like she just, yeah, I don't like just crazy great, but yeah, if you don't have her, you need, you need to get her, um, like the face is like just... Again, not based on a real person. So just like we were looking at with a lot of the Rebels figures, right? Um, just generic. And you can see... Uh, you can see... Han, you can definitely... Uh, I wish... You know, you can kind of see there. She's kind of got that Han Solo, Harrison Ford smirk going on. So you totally would be like... You know, father and daughter, like totally. But yeah, like I said, she's not based on anything anymore. So um, the old canon that followed through the absolute metric ton of Star Wars novelizations, um, years and years into the future, there was Jason and Jaina, so they were the twins. And then there was a third, and I think, I want to say it was Ben, but honestly, I can't remember the youngest one. I think it was Ben, but, um, so Han Solo and Leia had, uh, three kids, and I, I know up to a point that the Solo kids were going to be killed, and then that was the all oh, the the one book there that Chewbacca actually died. So he fulfilled his life debt and managed to save uh, the sky the Solo kids. And that was his ultimate sacrifice. So um, yeah. So but none of that exists anymore. So she doesn't. And I know a lot of people when this went up for the fans uh, fans choice. Um, you know, maybe not 
everybody's favorite to go more legends i guess is that's what everybody's calling uh some of the odd black series figures or legends figures uh because they don't exist through canon anymore but she is fantastic like again the hair's got her little ponytail definitely get some han solo vibe from her um like the bend on her arms is fantastic she's got like this extra joint like look at you know you want to get her in a pose doing the limp like going limbo you know like holy jumping that is crazy and even so like that it, again just mind blowing and then there's, there's, there's like no gapping when you've got her fully extended uh, frontwards or backwards um but you know uh and she's rocking her gunslinger belt um i will say one drawback is uh, um i hate when they use a hole in the leg and then they peg um and glue it in place i wish it was just free floating um not that it hinders any of the movement on her leg like it's pretty pliable but uh that's my only gripe with her um is that like like she can kick her like forget her backside she can kick her own back for love of god so it's you know this is this would be my standard for any female character in Star Wars for the body style um, and we all know that it's quite a sausage fest and there's not enough females um, in the line period um, and her Jin like five maybe six but you know it, and then whatever I don't know maybe Bosk is a female anyway but this is like the bar has you know we know what we're used to and that's the bar and then all of a sudden they they kind of sit here have this have this and this is what we want more of this so that's like her standard you know again rocking like the solo vibe got the stripes going down and got the boots uh you know just ready for i don't know this could be an everyday look for her but the accessories let's look at the accessories so first thing she comes with is a flight it's all right upside down a flight harness Ooh, that looks kind of like something like a Jedi like a, a rebel pilot might wear something like that that's kind of interesting so the fact again you can give her regular and then going out on her job type of a uh, look whatever um, so Just uh, the fact of having the option to have it on or off. I always have it on, so maybe I'm going to have to start uh, keeping it off. But um, again, to have the option to have it on or off is, is great. So under the hair and then ponytail and one more clip so just a couple of pops in and there you go so she's got got her little pilot loops 
goes up. <sighs> looks looks really good. So I was like, well, if she's got that. Maybe she'll come with something to accessorize this. Well, of course she will. She'll have her own helmet. So, ooh, look at the symbols. Fantastic. Looks awesome. And this material, like, this is a lot lighter feeling than some of the other ones, especially the Poe or the Ian McShane X Wing pilot. That helmet. And then the one that comes with that Poe two pack. Um, those are just, yeah, really heavy. Uh, this feels great and goes on very easily looks fantastic like so there's a holster oh, okay we must get a get a gun or something and right there so kind of solo ish so looks really good silver some black detail on that as well bang straight in looks good fits nice sounds like awesome that's that's fantastic like what, what an awesome figure so you can give her the regular gunslinger look um and take the flight suit off or this look or no helmet and she's flexible enough to be able to get her to hold it, put the helmet um, in her arm to hold it if you want to display her that way. Uh, just great, but one more accessory. So, bang. Lightsaber. I put her down for a quick second. And you can see her right there. So you got that purpley pink hue. All new design. It's got the loop on there, so oh that makes sense because there's a little hook right there on her little flight. Oh well, actually on her regular belt. So on but like yeah that is fantastic um, definitely one of definitely my top 10 uh, I'm not sure but definitely my top 10 out of all of my black series so uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, do you have her? Did you? Do you want her? Whatever. Uh, fantastic figure. Yes. No. Anyway, um, as usual, um, comment, like, share, subscribe. Um, all the usual YouTube mumbo jumbo. Um, I'm getting an itch to want to do a giveaway. I've got a few things laying around, and um, should we set a goal at 225? If we can get up to 225 subscribers, so get the word out. Um, maybe we'll figure something out that if uh, people subscribe and they put your name in the comment or something, you get an extra. Uh, ballot type of a thing or whichever I don't know so let me know down in the comments um, if there's enough interest so I'm not gonna say what I've got um, I might have a rocket trooper I don't know um, it could be something else but uh, anyways guys uh, thank you as always uh, we'll go back to um, I don't know we'll pick another black series figure for the next time or maybe uh, Maybe a Transformer um, Siege. We'll see. But anyways, 
Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care. Have a good one, eh?